Hey guys, in this video, we're going to give you some practical tools to use in your everyday life on the Ascension journey to help move through emotions and navigate the Ascension. Hey guys, it's Pete and Roxy here. We just thought we'd touch base and um, share with you some tools that you can use every day in your healing journey. Now, it's not that easy to navigate your emotions. And so we wanted to just share with you a few, a few tools that you can use and implement into your day-to-day -day life. And um, some of those tools are simple as um, journaling in your notebook. So the 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 place that I take the journaling is at the end of the day. So through my day, I will always be conscious of my thoughts, how I respond to somebody, how any emotions that come up that trigger me, maybe I get angry at someone at the shops or I get frustrated because someone took my park or, you know, just anything like this. So just being conscious and being the observer of this happening in your everyday life. So this is part of becoming elevated, higher consciousness, and these are little lessons in your day triggering you so you can clear them out, remove the density, and yeah, heal from it and elevate into yeah higher states. So basically, at the end of the day, you can pull out your journal and just reflect and do some reflection writing on how you got triggered. I felt angry because of this. I felt frustrated because of this. Oh yeah, and then this happened, and she thinks that I'm like this, but I'm not really. And just getting that information and that frequency out of your physical body is you know, key to elevation. Yeah, I found that when uh, I have had moments come up through the day where, where I am triggered, there's, there's three ways that I can really help to work through the emotion, things that I've learned and then applied and they've helped me. And one just recently the other day where I got really upset and angry about something and uh, sort of fired up in front of Roxy and the kids and had a bit of a, uh, a spray and <laughs> I found that the first thing I had to do was to give myself an opportunity to be alone and to process what's going on. So step one, I sort of processed and, and reviewed, wow, what just happened, acknowledged it. Wow, I got really angry. What was under that? Oh, well, I was frustrated. Wow, what was I frustrated about? So like going into it and understanding it all was the first step. The next step, which helped me to be able to, I guess, move through it, is to realize and to acknowledge that I'm actually should be grateful for that. See, what we resist persists. What we resist, we give energy to. If we say to that anger, if we have the attitude towards that anger or that frustration or that guilt or whatever emotion might be coming up, thank you, I love you, thank you for pointing out in me that there is an imperfection. And guys, sometimes this isn't easy, but this is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to go to it now and go, wow, thank you that I got angry. Thank you that it was showing me that I've got frustration in me. This is a, an emotion coming up in me, something that's unresolved to do with, and I sort of went into it, and I won't go, that's too long, but I went into it and understood it. And once I sort of acknowledged it and gave it love and went into it and thanked it for showing me and pointing out to me, where the emotional injury was, I was then in a much better position to be able to let it go. So you acknowledge, you process, and then you let it go or integrate. Acknowledge, process, integrate. Acknowledge, process, integrate. You could do that in your journaling. I like to do it in nature. I sort of, I went outside, didn't I? I mulched <laughs> the garden for an hour. There's hauling buckets and pulling weeds, but in my head, I was going over. I was doing the work, right? I was thinking through everything and I kind of walked back inside, had a big smile on my face, and I'm like, Roxy's looking at me like, are you all right? What's going on? <laughs> oh my I'm God, back. are we good? Are I'm we back, good? I'm back. <laughs> so yeah, and um, being like open and communicating if you're in a partnership or husband and wife team or boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever you may be, just um, honoring each other and giving each other space and not like going, what are you getting frustrated at? Just allow him to go through this, anger, frustration, and let him purge it out because, yeah, we have to just kind of sometimes hold space and say nothing and just allow the process rather than going, what's wrong? Can I do anything? Like we, we need that space to allow and let go and meet the emotion and surrender to it and, yeah, integrate it, I guess. Yeah, so I like, for me, being away from 
electronics. So that's mm. why I was outside and in the garden. Yes, I was doing something, but it was a repetitive task. I find I could have the same sort of zone mode that I go into if I'm like on the ride on lawnmower for those who've got a light ride on lawnmower or if I'm running on the treadmill or even if I have the opportunity to be surfing by myself with no one around and yes I'm doing an activity but my mind is doing the work what went on this morning why did I respond like that why were they like that why is this happening what's it trying to show me and man it's amazing what you can find out about yourself when you actually ask the right questions. And instead of going, why is this happening to me? I shouldn't be like that anymore. Next time it happens, I'm just going to suck it up and not get frustrated. Or I'm just going to hold it in and not get show my anger or whatever, which just means it's going to come up again at another time, right? Usually when we're tired, we're stressed, hungry, <laughs> or whatever <laughs> it may be, right? So things can come up again. So we don't want to push it away. We don't want to ignore it. We want to acknowledge it. We actually want to embrace it and give it love and say, thank you, you're trying to show me something. Because it's like the opposite of what often we get told to do. And then it enables you to so much better go into it, understand it, and then release it. And you've learned the lesson then, you, you move on. For me, um, after Pete got upset in the car, I brought the kids upstairs and yeah, just cleaned up a little bit. And I thought to myself, I was getting triggered as well from his actions. And it was completely different for me. It wasn't actually him. It was just the masculine tr uh, triggering me from an event that happened when I was a little girl. And it just reminded me so much of the same situation, like in the car, that turbulent energy, that cutting energy and just feeling yeah, really upset with the masculine, with the male. And um, yeah, so what I did was I just set the kids up on a movie and I went in for a meditation and I just said, what is this? What do I need to know about this? And when we're asking the higher realms what we need to know, what is the knowing around this? What is, what is the information that I need to know to get clarity, to process this emotion? When we ask in this process, you're going to receive. But if you never ask, the divine, you know, it's going to be slower to come down. So we've got we're, free will. Yeah, we've got free will. Just drop it. Yeah. So you gotta free. Ask. You've got to ask for help. You've got to ask for that knowing. And so yeah, I went into meditation. That's my way of um, getting around meditation. And yeah, there was some tears, and there was yeah a release of an emotion from that incident um, actually in the car. And um, yeah, just a broken heart. Just um, love heart chakra. Um, we fi we're finding now our heart chakras are really getting um, triggered and opening up and, you know, the, all of this love in here is um, starting to be processed and cleaned out, which is awesome. But some other tools is breath work, meditation, yoga, you know, you've just got to find what works with your being, with your um, body and yeah, definitely out in nature helps with no ear pods. Just you and nature, you and the divine, you and the energy, you getting the knowings, you asking questions, receiving answers. We need to start this relationship and ingrain a strengthy relationship with the energy and the knowing. Because, you know, without this asking and this commitment and making the energy your ally, it's not going to, you know, embed in you and, and ground you and, and assist you in the ascension. Yeah, so... Yeah. Other things that friends and uh, family members have used are things like massage and they find that when they're getting a massage they can drift away or you know a hot bath particularly if you know you can dim the lights down a little with some salt yeah put some salts in or something but just slide down into that hot bath and just have your mind melt away and particularly if you're irritated about something or something is not in balance in your life it can give you another perspective because so often, you know, we're stuck in day-to-day -day life and all we just see it is logically. We just see the logical view. But when you can get in a more relaxed state and get that creative side of your brain, mm -hmm. right, the left and right hem hemispheres of the brain working together and bring in some of the heart, all of a sudden you can look at it with some compassion and understanding and you can get a completely different viewpoint than you may have had before. And it can really lead to some clarity and mm. some just some peace for you on the whole topic and you can sort of move through it or get over it or whatever term you want to use so much faster yeah and just one other thing before we wrap it up <laughs> it just came down so i thought i'd share it um yeah it's about just understanding that not everyone is as as evolved as you and conscious as you and to be compassionate for that because you know, they might seem to be, other people might be so unconscious that they don't even realize how rude they're being or how 
mean they're being in this, you know, transaction. And so just understanding that everyone's on their journey and a lot of people are still in a low 3D realm. They don't have any consciousness yet. They're unknowing and just having compassion for that because we've all been there and we've all risen up through that, um, those realms and learning and expanding and being more aware of this consciousness and what it actually means to see it from an aerial perspective. And yeah, just um, always, you know, not reacting to someone else, always being kind and showing that compassion, that love, always number one first. Yeah. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed the video and um, give us a thumbs up if you like it. If you like it, like it. And um, we'll catch up again really soon. Thanks, guys. Bye. <laughs> Did you like